I was not able to see his practice in person, uh, but I can understand. I think that he and I have some similarities, so that I can understand his uh, circumstances. He is the only. Pro I believe he is one of the few uh, prosthetic urologists uh, doing his practice in, uh, dealing with erectile dysfunction in his country, Colombia, Medellin. So, yes, I was in the same place before, a uh, position before. Being able to do uh, inflatable penile prosthetic surgery doesn't make you a prosthetic urology. Prosthetic urologists uh, should devote themselves to the treatment of the patients as well. And I believe uh, Dr. Carvazal is doing that uh, very eagerly. As you know, he may be few in that uh, place, and at the same time, every culture has a differences. And Dr. Carvazal is uh, adjusting his own practice to his own culture to serve his patients better. He's that eager to make the say, climate change for the better of his people. So in that kind of sense, I admire his eagerness and his enthusiasm to serve his patients better. I decided to make a uh, penal prosthesis and ED because I, I saw that in my country there's not uh, uh, people dedicated um, in, in, in that area. It's uh, just a few people and uh, they don't have an, uh, uh, people with a, a good um, um, education in, in ED and especially in penile prosthesis implantation. It is difficult uh, in my country for the patients uh, to talk about ED. Uh, in some cultures, like uh, my culture, uh, the people have uh, some fears and uh, uh, it's not uh, with confidence to talk about erectile dysfunction. So uh, we need to have uh, doctors with experience to, to deal with, to, uh, to ask to the patients about ED first, because many patients doesn't want to, to talk about. So um, you, you need to have uh, experience to deal with, uh, because some patients, even if you ask about ED, the patient doesn't want to talk about. It is normal that the patients uh, first um, uh, comes to you to ask about uh, BPH, for example, mm -hmm. or other urological problems. Mm -hmm. And um, it is common that um, I, uh, the, at the first time I asked about the um, erectile function, mm -hmm. is just uh, to ask the, the question about it. Mm -hmm. So many patients mm -hmm. are uh, talking about um, ED problems, mm -hmm. but maybe the patients are not going to consult to you mm -hmm by that reason. Mm -hmm. So it's the first uh, uh, mm -hmm. gate mm -hmm. that I open mm -hmm. um, and uh, after that I'm trying to uh, get with more confidence with the patient mm -hmm. and to ask about uh, their um, sexual performance and uh, mm -hmm. how it is uh, his uh, feeling about it. And uh, sometimes I found uh, a lot of uh, patients with ED problems. Uh, I had a um, a lot of uh, different cases, but uh, maybe the, the more dramatic cases are um, the, pa uh, the patient with the priapism. Priapism. And uh, I had an, um, a very young guy with uh, 21 uh, years old mm -hmm. with um, ischemic priapism, oh. after ischemic priapism, and the guy was completely impotent. Mm -hmm. um, the problem was that any, anybody, nobody, offers treatment for erectile dysfunction. Oh. Uh, so the patient was um, consulting a lot of uh, doctors mm -hmm. uh, for many time, and I received the patient when he was in 24. Wow. And uh, oh, the first time the patient was so desperate. Oh. And, and, but when I talked with the patient and uh, when I offered by a solution for um, his erectile dysfunction, the patient was completely uh, happy, and um, I, at, the, at the end, I implanted a uh, penile prosthesis to the patient. Uh, very difficult surgery, uh, you can imagine. Uh, four years uh, after uh, ischemic priapism, uh, completely fibrosis, I, I, I found it. 
and, uh, but the patient in, uh, nowadays is, is pretty happy and uh, he was returned to the, his uh, sexual activity. I, I think as we have a, a lot of options to treat erectile dysfunction, so um, I think as the, the important thing is, is to have uh, the lot of, of option, options and to try to, to choose the right candidate for each option because it's not just pills or devices or penal prosthesis. Um, when you um, has experience in uh, treat, uh, treating uh, sexual dysfunction, maybe you have the, um, the right way mm. to choose why will be the, the best candidate to each treatment. Mm. And penal prosthesis absolutely are a very good option mm. for the severe mm. erectile dysfunction. And um, you have to, to have in, in account that um, not all the patients are uh, candidates mm. for, to do that. And, um, it, it, the most important thing is to, to talk with the patient about the, the expectation of the patient mm -hmm. because if you are in, in the right way to choose the um, penal prosthesis like treatment in one selected patient, maybe you are going to be in a, a, a very uh, successful surgery and a very happy patient for the future.